Hello, my name is Igor, and I'm working like product marketing engineer in industrial networking company Moxa. In this video series of embedded computers, I'm going to show you our features of embedded computers and how it is easy to use them, to install applications, to configure them, and generally speaking, to work with them. Not to mention that at the Moxa we produce only embedded computers. We're doing much more. Embedded computers are just one of part of our uh, product portfolio. But we have many, many other devices like serial to Ethernet gateways, like switches, layer 2, layer 3 switches, firewalls, cybersecurity devices, then wireless access points, clients, and many others. In today's video, I'm going to introduce you one of our communication platform which enables easier connection from sensor to cloud. It is called UC8100A series. And let us see now what this package contains of when you order or purchase MOXA device. In the next package that you receive from MOXA, you're getting console cable used to manage embedded computer from your laptop or desktop PC towards embedded computer. You have printed out quick installation guide, embedded computer purposed for sensor to cloud connectivity about its features I'm going to give you introduction later on, power jack used to connect power source onto the terminal block to power embedded computer, and printed out warranty statement. Make attention that antenna cables and the power supply should have to be ordered separately. All right, I would like first to explain you, according to Moxa naming conventions, what this name of UC embedded computers means. Acronym UC stands for Universal Communicator, which means all platforms, UC 2100 series, 3100 series, 5100 series, they're all universal communicators. In this case, 8100 series was the first series that Moxa developed and this is its successor, A series. In its name stands ME, capital letter, which is an acronym of metal enclosure, like you can see. Then capital letter T in its name means temperature. This device has been designed for extended temperature range. And at the end, two capital letters, LX stands for Linux, as Linux operating system has been installed on it. We call it Mox Industrial Linux, which is based on Debian 9 operating system running kernel 4.4, and we provide 10 years support for this Mox Industrial Linux operating system. Now, I would like to explain you what kind of communication interfaces you have on this device. Let's start from top to bottom. On the top of the device are console port for connecting the console cable from your laptop or desktop PC to manage the embedded computer locally. Then, terminal block, 3-pin terminal block, used to connect power between 12 and 36 volts DC over power jack. Then, on the front sides are three antenna connectors, SMA type, predicted because inside is mini PCI Express slot for cellular module installation which means if you are ordering device with cellular module already built in, you order that for target region, EU, US or AP, which stands for Europe, United States or maybe Asia Pacific. So you just need such model to attach cellular antennas on it, two antennas are for main and aux auxiliary antenna cellular and the third one is for GPS. So you can get location of this embedded computer anywhere in the world. Then on the front of the device are programmable LEDs. You can program it according to your needs, which means to track application, execution, flow, or to diagnose, troubleshoot the device according to your needs. Very flexible design. Two Ethernet interface, fast Ethernet interface, are two independent MAC addresses, two independent networks. Then storage expansion card, SD card, in the case that memory inside is not enough, for storing your application data, you can extend it unlimited, it depends on uh, SD card capacity. SIM card, of course, slot for cellular modem. 
then USB port 2.0 for connecting external USB devices. And on the bottom are two serial ports, RS-232, 422, 485, programmable according to your needs. So you can actually use MOXIS utility to set up desired serial operation mode, or you can use your own application program in Linux to do it, to do this action. Okay, now I let me tell you something about inside of this device, what this device actually contains from processor. It contains Cortex-A8 uh, processor, which is running on one gigahertz. One gigabyte RAM is supported on all these UC8100A series. Eight gigabyte fixed memory storage inside, which is used for storing operating system, Linux operating system. After installation of operating system, it remains six gigabyte free space for your software that you develop for storing the data. Like mentioned, if it is not enough, you can use SD card as a storage expansion. And SD card has a nice feature that it can boot another operating system apart of this one, which has been provided from Moxa. So you don't need to destroy operating system on the device. You can externally boot your own operating system. Then this device actually can be used as embedded data application device which means you program this device according to your needs to control the traffic lights, maybe intelligent transportation systems, or to monitor some, uh, some data to make a, a data, a data logging or similar applications, like we mentioned at the beginning, IoT. Its main purpose is IoT, like IoT gateway. But the applications where this computer can be used are actually unlimited. It has its own certification where the fields it proposed to be used but if the certifications are not a limit, this usage of this embedded computer can be practically anywhere. Like you could see, UC8100 series are rugged industrial embedded computers designed for different purposes, mainly for IoT applications. Programmable LEDs on the front making them suitable for troubleshooting or following application execution. Variety of interfaces make them perfect communication platform and conversion maybe from serial to Ethernet and vice versa. However, I would like to introduce you in the next videos all our UC series product portfolio. And I'm sure that one of the model can find application in usage in your environment. Thank you.